Hi, in this video, let us see uh, different events available in Java AWT. Here is the hierarchy of classes. Again, the top is AWT event. From there, these are the events action event, adjustment event, component event, item event, or text event. And we also have a key event, mouse event, window event. We'll see some of these events. All these are inheriting and all these are classes. Let us see all these events one by one. First one is let us talk about action event. Action event is generated in following cases. When you click on a button and if the cursor is in the text field and if you hit enter from keyboard, if you double click any item in the list box, if you click on a menu item. So these are the cases in which the action event is generated. So usually when we access internet or on any website, like we click on a button, it means submit, do it. We expect some action to be performed. So that's how this action, this is the name action event. Like when you log in, you enter username and password, then directly you hit enter. You don't press login button. So again, clicking enter when the cursor is in the text field, then also is taken as action event. So, so on. In other two cases also it's taken as action event. So action event is a built-in class available in Java package. That is java.awt.event package. So all the events are present here. So action event is also available in event package. So let us see some of the important methods of action event class. When the button is clicked, then the event is generated. So what are the methods? Get action command. This returns a string. So this returns the label of a button. If it is text field, it will return the text inside the box. If it's a list item, it will give the text of this list item. Then menu name, menu item name. It will return action command means it will give you the label on all these things. And same way, one more method that is param string. This also returns the same thing. It also returns a string. So we have two different methods. Whichever comes to your mind, you can write down that. So any of these methods you can use for getting the label. Now one more method is there, get modifiers. Sometimes what happens, we hold a shift key and click on this one. Or if we hold control key or alt key and press the click on the button. Or for menu item or the list box, Along with clicking, we also hold some key. If you're holding a key, then it will return the value for that key. So what are the possible values this function returns that get modifier? It returns any one of these values, like whether the alt key was pressed or control key was pressed or shift key was pressed or command key on. So any one of these keys, whichever was pressed, you will get the constant. So it will return the value one among these values. Next is adjustment event. So this event is generated over scroll bar. You click anywhere on the scroll bar, this event is generated. And there is a built-in class that adjustment event available in event package. The methods of this class, the important methods of this class, get adjustment type and get value. See, when we define the scroll bar, we define the minimum value and the maximum value. Let us say minimum value is zero and the maximum value is 100. Then suppose the thumb tracker was here or the thumb tracker was here. So whatever this position was, it will return you that value. So get value returns the value where the thumb tracker is positioned now. And one more thing is when you click on the scroll bar, sometime we click on this buttons, right? Or we click on this empty region this region we click or sometime we hold the thumb tracker and move it if you want to know which type of adjustment is done by the user you can call this function get adjustment type it will return any one of these values any one of these constants so is it block increment or block decrement so if you click on this side then block increment if you click on the other side of thumb tracker then it's block decrement unit increment and decrement so this if you click on these buttons it will be unique 
increment and decrement or if you are holding a thumb tracker and moving it so it will be a track so by calling this function you can know which type of event was generated on the scroll bar <coughs> next is item event item event is generated in following cases clicking on a checkbox clicking on radio button selecting an item in a list selecting an item in a drop down box that is it is called as combo box or in java it is called as choice or selecting a checkable menu item some menu items are checkable you can check or uncheck them so if you're clicking on that the item event is generated so there is a class available for item event and the methods of that class are param string again if it is checkbox it will give you the label of a checkbox if it is menu item it will give you the label of that menu item then next is get state change so what is the change in the state you can get it whether it got selected or got deselected so there are two possible states so the values that it will return are these when you call this function you can take the value and compare with any one of these whichever you want like what is selected or deselected so it will return any one of these two values these are the predefined constants available in the same class so i have simply separated them so that you can easily identify them and one more function is there one more method is there that is get item get item will return you the reference of an object on which this event is generated so it returns an object so why object because it may be a checkbox it may be a radio button or a item in the list or it may be a menu item it can be anything so it returns the reference of that object next is key event see when the focus is on the frame or applet or panel that is on this window on this entire window when the focus is there and you are typing something from the keyboard then the key event is generated and this key event class is having few functions that are get key code you will get the ascii code the unicode of that key get key char you get the character form of that one so here you get the numeric form that is code and here you get the character itself and is action key is action key means if it's a any enter key or escape key any one of these keys like alter or caps lock all these are action keys so it returns whether it is an action key or not now when you get the code this code you can compare it with this one so it means this method returns any one of these codes for every key on the keyboard the codes are already available vk underscore a vk enter vk up vk space and escape vk for all alphabets right any key on the key on the keyboard there is a constant available you can find out those constants and use them next is mouse event this event is again generated on containers key event is also generated on container so mouse event is also generated on container that is frame or panel or uh, applet so this class is having few methods like get x get y means you can know the location where the event was generated in the window this will be an origin and this is a x axis and this is a y axis so you can know the point where this event was generated next the same thing you can get it as a point also get point and next get click count so how many times the button was clicked like sometime we do double click so that how many times the button was clicked you get that one <coughs> next is get button which button is pressed so for this again this mouse event class have some predefined constants those constants i have separately kept them here it may be button one or two or three right so there used to be three button mouse nowadays we are using just two button mouse next is window event this event is generated on window like you may be closing a window or opening a window minimizing a window maximizing a window these are the possible events that are generated and all these are together called as window event the event related to window so this class is having few methods from where you can know get new state what is the state of a window whether it is activated or deactivated open or close what it is 
and get old state what was the previous state you can know this one like it was already minimized and you have maximized it so old state was minimized now the new state is maximized you can get the reference to a window also now these two methods will return the constants which are defined here that window was activated or deactivated what is done to the window you can get it what was the previous state or the new state you can know from this one here is the list of events and when they are generated this action event and i adjustment event component event you can learn about this one focus event and input event item event key event mouse text window event that's it thanks for watching in the next video i am going to talk about listeners